Hello there, ladies and germs. Elton McFall, and it just occurred to me as I was saying what I just said that I think these are the only types of videos actually where I really talk like that. As opposed to, let's say, old cars I find or trains, and I'll just say, hey guys, or whatever. Yes, sir. Ooh, look at this. Acura RL. Ooh, I like that. That's a nice machine. So fucking rusted out there, really. And this is looking south here on Boulevard Cavendish. Cavendish Boulevard, or as I heard the announcements uh, automated on the, on the bus before. Prochainere, Cavendish. And this is Cavendish North. I don't know, and I just guess how to board them. I figure out. Trying to do some car spotting today. I can't believe they call this a Jeep. It's so hideous, it's not even funny. You know what, I figured uh, when I head north, I always go the same way. I was on earlier before, I was on uh, St. Jacques and Cavendish. And uh, I'm like, you know what? Let's do something different, I figure. Let's go do a walk-in video on uh, Fleet Street, Fleet Road. I'd like to show you the goddamn sign if I could find one, but where is it? Where is the sign? Sign, sign. Oh, you're paying attention. Thank you very much with your good eyes. I'm visually impaired. Where is it? Shit, the battery's not charged. I forgot to charge the batteries. Where is it? She said right there. Where? Oh, there it is. It's hidden. No wonder I can't see it. It's a freaking grave for crying out loud. Oh, fucking batteries. You know what? I'm not even sure these batteries are charged. I might actually have to do this with my phone. Damn it! I don't know what it is. Lately, I used to be on top of that stuff, and maybe it's because I'm a pothead, but I don't know. I just don't remember as much as I used to to charge the batteries like I used to. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to walk east along with the wind somewhat on Fleet Road, Fleet Street. I think it's Fleet Road, though. And another reason, too, why I thought about doing this video, aside from it being different from what I usually do, is because this is more of a suburban area in this section when when you head closer towards the carry down there it gets a little more urban more of like you know buildings like uh you know old style houses old style houses built whatever 30s 40s versus these built in the 50s 60s 70s you know yeah, another cool reason to do this video as you can see there's no lack of income around here i mean look there's tons of bmws and and audis and lots of beautiful homes and very bizarre to see a school bus on a Sunday afternoon, but whatever. Didn't say these beautiful signs. They're not freaking. I knew they were green. Oh yeah. Uh, of course, I distracted myself as usual. Ooh, smut thing. Yeah. The reason why um, I thought about doing this walking video on the street is because 20 years ago, as some of you know, I'm, I used to do house cleaning for seniors mostly for a company called Coup de Ballet, which is French for clean sweepers. And uh, I had uh, several clients scattered around here. And of course, down, down down there, by the way, we're walking towards Hampstead, but here it's Cote St. Luke. But I, I don't really know where the dividing line between both towns are. So anyway, I had a few different uh, customers. Some of them had a lot more money than others and uh, mostly Jewish, you know, because this is of course the highly highest population of Jews in the city is here in Cote St. Luke. And oddly enough, Cote St. Luke also has the, uh, the oldest population uh, in the city of Montreal, oddly enough, like people, uh, you know, like, I don't know, like 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, you know? So, uh, and there's sort of a sun kind of out. Well, I uh, might as well enjoy that while, uh, before it gets crappy for a couple of days. And for, uh, it's not a bad day for fall, for the end of November, today being the, uh, the 29th of November 2020. It never ceases to amaze me, though, how busy, oh, look at this at Bentley, wow. Never ceases to amaze me how busy this street is, though, like, you know, there's like the, when I used, back in 2006, I lived directly south of here on, um, on, uh, Chester Street. And one time I decided to drive my, my Caprice to the Julep. And I went through these side streets and I ended up at an intersection over here where there was no light or stop. And I managed to scrape the side of the Caprice against this uh, stupid uh, construction uh, sign, you know. Uh, anyway, but uh, now the uh, freaking joint of my heel is hurting me right now. Probably because my freaking 
freaking shoes are, uh, hey, that's not bad, hey, nice color. Probably because my shoes are oversized and uh, as well as uh, these are not, these are not really, they're not exactly high quality shoes, you know. Um, what do you want from winners, you know? Winners! Fucking colorless cars, all of them, look. All of them are fucking colorless. When is this gonna end, this fucking insanity? Jeez, I'm sorry, I cannot stay cool about it. But look at this, this is a miracle. It's a Land Rover and it's actually not white, black, or fucking gray or silver. It's ludicrous! See, this is what I'm sorry. You kids today, you guys, you're missing out. If you're watching this, okay? My generation, Generation X, the boomers, the old people, we're lucky, man. We grew up at a time where the music was as colorful as all the cars and the streets and buildings and clothing, and today it's all shit for the most part. Colorless, drab, and depressing. It's like when people remodel their homes, you know, like these old houses, and they put all the black panels, black windows, gray. I don't get it. I don't get it. How is that cool? Okay? Okay, I gotta take a deep breath and calm down now. What's this over here? Speaking of colorless, but at least it looks exotic. Looks like a Jaguar F-Type, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, oh, there, looks like it. Somebody enjoying it probably for one last day because I doubt they'll, you can't drive that in the winter. It's too much power. It's rear wheel drive. It'll just fishtail. And, uh, you know what I mean? It's just, I, I rode in a rear wheel drive Mustang once. Oh, look at this. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Whoa, that looks like a car I saw for sale on Kijiji a while back. I think if I remember right, if that's the same one, that's an 89 uh, 535i or M, M series M3. Whoa, there's another oldie. Look at that old Kusa cut. Whoa, that's really strange to see two cars for approximately the same year, almost the same time. That's bizarre. That reminds me of like earlier I was on... Uh, I was at the 20 and uh, Montreal Toronto Road. Look at this. That was the beginning of the scrap right there, 2009. Anyway, and uh, I, I see this uh, Montreal uh, fire truck pumper 277 responding um, and heading towards the 20 and like seconds after that, what do I see coming right towards me in the same angle as that Beamer uh, 69 Mustang convertible turned right off uh, that road to go onto the highway, you know? So it's pretty neat. Well, one of the things that's cool about this, this, uh, this road is that it leads to Van Horn and because it's such a busy area, uh, the 161 route, as you noticed on the sign before in that bus there, this has excellent bus service. They're talking about like every 10 minutes or so, you know, around there. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, buddy. And a lady cop, she's probably looking at her phone there, you know. Fucking phones. That's another thing, man. Look, I've said it before, you know, I enjoy my phone, right? I enjoy looking at the internet. I enjoy the fact that it helps me make money as a YouTuber as a seller, even on Marketplace. I mean, Marketplace is working very well compared to Kijiji as tanking, but again, I cannot get over how people cannot stop looking at their phones, specifically in public, all the time, especially the younger people. This has been going on for years and it's not changing, it's not improving. And, and it was even in the news recently about how the government, uh, they're noticing it, there's too much screen time among young people, and you know, it's just, it is what it is, you know? Once again, great truck, bad color. What are you gonna do? Same thing with that Jeep. Same thing with uh, that Wex 3 or whatever, or that Cayenne. It is what it is. You know? I'm surprised this fucking battery is still holding out actually here. And that's another thing I've noticed too. Like when you're in areas that have money like here, you know, like in West Mount, these areas, all these luxury cars, Beamers. Look at that, there's another second gen. Again, 2009. Anyway, Beamers, Audis, Mercedes, whatever, Porsches, they're often, again, always colorless. So just, it's just a baffling time, but not in a good way. Not in a good way, man. You know? I, I don't know um, how far I'm going to walk this, seriously, because I'd like to actually film part of when the street goes into uh, Hampstead. Look, here's another thing that drives me nuts. Look at this guy with his headlights. No, could your fucking lights be bright enough? Really? Unbelievable, fuck. You're a dickhead. Jesus, what an asshole or a stupid fucking bitch 
broad because it's like you're blinding everybody, not just walking towards you, but people are driving in front of you, ahead of you, or driving the other way. I mean, it's, just, it's like I always say, you know, there, there, there's, you know, there's too many laws, right? And then there, yeah, there's not enough laws, right? Anyway, but, uh, you know, I was funny. Now, part of me is starting to regret doing this now. Starting to regret doing this now. I gotta stop this a second because I just noticed that uh, my music is still playing in my uh, headphones. Well, I had to change the battery there. And I was just thinking just before I started recording again that this is like so many areas, you know, where again it's just filled with all these colorless cars, these modern cars, even though they're high end, a lot of them or half of them because of the high income revenue in this neighborhood. You imagine having a time machine and going back and see, you know, people driving Buick Electras and, and, and uh, you know, Mercury uh, Marquis and Grand Marquis and, uh, hell, even Toyota Cressidas, you know, if you're going to the 80s and stuff and 90s, you know, Nissan Maximas and, you know, I hate that element, that Honda element that just went by. I even have a, I had a friend who even had one that was green, which suited his personality, but still. Look at how interesting this is, eh? There's like a path here. Hmm. I never noticed that. That's pretty neat. Look at that, it goes on and on all the way down there. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Oh, those people are like, no, 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 we're not going to do that. We're going back home. Watch some soap operas and... Yeah. Well, I was afraid this battery wasn't charged though. I got a feeling I'm going to see something responding here soon though. A lot of people are out, they're out shopping. What do you think people, most of these people are doing? They're out shopping. You know, is this thing working? Checking the old speed limit there. Sorry, checking people's speed, I should say. I like that ray of sun way back down there. No, yeah, it's not the most uh, fascinating area, that's for sure. You know, it's weird the way this road is, is so busy because as you can see, it's, it's bizarre because it's so busy and yet it's only a four lane road. It's not six lane. You can't park on either side. It's, that's what's strange about this road. It's very bizarre indeed. Not just the freaking colorless cars all over the place. I'm trying to refrain from swearing because I swear too goddamn much. Eh? I could see some of these homes were definitely made in the 70s, that's for sure. Mind you, I'm pretty damn far though from uh, Hampstead, I think. I don't know, maybe there's a sign also somewhere that'll indicate to me that I am in Hampstead, eh? I do remember seeing, oh my god, that's that park coming up here where for the past few years they actually have a classic car show, but of course this year it didn't happen because of the COVID. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. What a life, what a life today. Yeah. I don't know how far I'm going to do this because I don't want to walk too much, of course. If you're familiar with my walking videos and you're sympathetic to the fact that I still have this pericarditis heart condition and, uh, you know, if I'm not feeling any pain, it's because I'm not exaggerating it, not overdoing it. You know, I went out yesterday for a while, walked around, but, you know, not too much. Okay, see? Look at that Ford. I'm not in love with it, but it's nice. It's red. Ah. I really have to... I, mean, I guess that's to prevent them, all these trees from the salt, I guess, eh, maybe? I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? I don't know what this park is called, though. See, that's what I mean. Look at this. Everything black. It doesn't do it for me. You know, I think it's one of those things, you know, you love it or hate it, really. Right? Nice dog. Oof. Oh, we're going to take a curve here. I'm going to just take a breather here for a moment.
Where are we here? Is that Elm? Elgin, I think? Let's see. It is... Oh, no, it says Fleet. You know, I'm visually impaired, eh? Which, of course, I was going to say if you don't know me by right now. But instead of saying if you don't know me by now, how about I sing it? If you don't know me by now, you will never, never, never know me. Ooh. There's one thing I find that's interesting in the last couple of years for me getting older is that I'm more, I'm more into the, the beautiful uh, songs, or mellow songs, or soft rock, or vocal, whatever kind of whatever kind of songs you want to call them than usual. It's funny because I remember noticing something like that about my dad, you know, when he was around and and now it's happening to me. Isn't it funny? Like, because I'm going to be 44 uh, in a few weeks, you know? Okay, now we're talking. SRT Cherokee there, look like, and look at beautiful home. Beautiful burgundy color. Hey, there's a bunch of people in that park over there. Good, that's good, that's good. What are they doing over there, though? Practicing social distancing. Hey, look at this beautiful home. Oh my lordy. Wow. Very, very nice. Look, I'm the backwards walking man. I'm the backwards walking man, just like Tom Green, a fellow Canadian who is now roughing it in a van somewhere in Utah? Nevada? Okay, look at this. Hmm. Oh, there's an old Merc there. Old Mercedes, look at that. Kevin, that one's right up your alley, buddy. Look at that, 1990-something. Yeah, I really think these were excellent cars. These, I think, came out in 86. And, uh... Yeah, I did, but these, I don't like these, really. I think, for me, I gotta give them another 10 years, maybe, before I really like them. Man, that thing is clean! Holy shit, is that anything ever clean? Wow. Either never driven in the winter, or... Not from uh, Quebec, maybe. Look at this. It's not a third gen. What? This is weird. Look at this, how weird this is. Was there a house here before that like burned down or something? Look how bizarre this is. There's not even a park, no trees, no picnic tables, no water fountain. It's weird. It must, there had to have been a house here, you know? Had to have been. Okay, now we're getting closer to the old part, which is good because my heart is starting to bother me a bit now, you know? If you don't know me by now, you will never, never, never know me. Look at this. See that? There's still parts of the city where it's Anglophone, where the stop signs still say stop. And I don't give a shit. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with, you know, what the Francophones are always afraid that the English is, uh, the, is taken over because of ethnic people, people moving from in all over the town. We're losing our language. Bullshit, man. You know, they really don't like it. They can go live in Shabugamu or they can go live in Shikutsimi or Rimouski and I can think of a whole lot of places, man. But me, it's different. Why? Because I'm both. I'm a proud Anglophone and a Francophone. You know what I mean? Just curious what's this cross street here. What is it? Baron's Court. Wow. Oh, this is Hampstead now. Look at this. Cool, man, these signs are even more beautiful than in Cote St. Luke. Wow. Dig it. Wow, 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 wow. I think that street over there we passed where the park is, yeah, I think that was the dividing line maybe with... Uh, is that a house? Look at the size of this thing. Jesus Murphy, it's as big as Graceland. You don't know what Graceland is, I'm not going to tell you. Google it. I used to have a customer here though, right around here somewhere. And she was, uh, you know, typical Jewish and Moroccan, uh, Madame, Madame, what was her name? Damn it, I can't remember her name, Madame, Madame. And man, she was one of those customers, I had to work my ass off in those three hours, clean everything, you know? I just can't believe it, I cannot believe how colorless all the cars are, look at the stones, beautiful. I remember I had a customer near here somewhere though, I think I only went there once, and she had... She had a, a, a Lincoln uh, Continental, um, what is it again? Early 80s, like 81, 82, a Continental, uh, I think it was a Versailles. Was it a Versailles? It was the four-door one, the small one. 
It was the Lincoln version of the Cadillac Seville. Anyway, she had that in her garage. I don't know. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not. To her or whatever. Look at this one here. Wow, they're not concerned at all about the environment. Hey, look at this. Not one, not two, but three SUVs. <laughs> and look, one of them is a Commander Major Pig on Gas. Not a successful Chrysler product at all. Next to that, I don't know what that is. I'm too visually impaired, but that's weird. And not only that, the house itself is very bizarre. I've never even noticed that house. I wonder if that would make a good thumbnail, maybe. You know? Madame, Madame something. I still can't remember her name. Yeah, I can't remember her name. That is really bizarre. Maybe an architect made that. A lot of times when you see homes that are, look very strange like that, very different, they are made by architects. Wow, there is like a mint condition Lexus ES250 that just drove by there. Super nice. Oh, look at that. It is super clean. I got a lot of Lexus ads if you're interested, eh? Like 90s, 2000s. I don't think I have any SC400 or 450 ads. I think I sold all of those. Yeah, well, it's just some beautiful homes here. They're even more nice than the ones we started with. Like this one with all the uh, arches there. It looks like something an Italian would own with those arches like that. I don't know, they're like known for that. You'll see that in uh, St. Leonard, Montreal East, and ooh, nice Cadillac. Very nice. Nice color. That's a very typical old man Cadillac color. Yeah. I'll have to come back here in the summer and do a video, walking, uh, walking video, because I'm sure I'll see some oldies, man. I'll tell you right now. I guarantee it. I bet on it. Hey, I was talking about Graceland before. There, that reminds of Graceland. Look at those columns there, eh? Mm hmm. Look at this beautiful bay window here. Lovely. Nice life, eh? I wouldn't mind having one of these houses there. The only thing is, you got to do really well. It's a lot of overhead. Look at this. This actually looks like a house. That Wow, that's so weird because look at that. For some reason, the, the foundation shifted and it's all, the whole garage is crooked. Anyway, I used to have a best friend. They had a house like that in DDO. Look at this. What's with this, this, this line? It's all it's all first uh, uh, third gens like that. So the first years with a scrap in 2009. It's all 2009. See, yeah, that's right. The street over there is going to get older once, not only because the homes are older, but it's going to get narrower. It's only going to be two, uh, two lanes. And that's where I'm, I think I'm going to stop. I'm not going to do this until they carry. I'm just, I'm not feeling that. It's still quite a walk, I think. I'd like to take the uh, the bus and just go off to, uh, ooh, good old O'Connell line. Go off to the metro there, because... Uh, or maybe even if it's not scrap, I would go to uh, take the 161 all the way to the end at Rosemont Metro. But all they see is scrap, so uh, yeah, the seats might be good in those buses, but they're fucking shite. What a terrible ride they have. Terrible. As my friend once said, they're like riding in a container on wheels. You should know he's a bus driver. You know? Ay, 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 ay. Again, speaking of Graceland, that's just like Graceland. Look at that. Neat. Hydrant. Ooh, there's that Infinity that I like. Oh, I love that car. Love that car, man. Q50, Q60, 65. Oof. I'm getting a little poop though now. Actually, you know what? I think that is the carry over there. Let me see. I think I can actually maybe walk there at this point. Might as well make it complete. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, yeah, I'm not sure if that's the carry. Maybe I'll just finish at that light, I think. You know? Like I said, I can't overdo it. You know, when you got a hard condition, you can't overdo it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Piece of junk. Take a whiff to add a coffee. Wow, you gotta wonder a house like that. What's in the garage, eh? Mm. 
here. I think that was the lady. I think she lived, yeah, she lived right here. I used to do cleaning here every week. I had customers like that, regular, every week cleaning. Every week. Look at that. She actually boarded up her windows here. What the fuck? Why would you do something like that? That's strange. People are strange. Yeah, but she was nutty, that one, anyway. So, a uh, nice lady, but again, weird. You know? Woof! I can imagine all the people seeing me with the camera. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait là? What's that guy doing? I'm a spy! Oh, no, 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 wait a minute, sorry. I think that was her house, actually. This was her house. Not the other one. Yeah, yeah, this was it. I keep thinking her name was Stansu, but I think it sounded like that. And the reason why I say that is because my dermatologist, who I saw recently, she checked me out totally to make sure I didn't have no melanoma uh, legions or whatever. Her last name is Stansu. Very nice lady. Yeah. Always busy. Always lots of moles and legions to check on people and, you know, all that shit. As a subscriber of mine used to say, all that happy horse shit. Oh, the G-Wagon. I'd rather take that Beamer. That's a handsome car. Yeah. Hmm. This old Civic, eh? Still in good shape. Wow. I got an ad for one of those. It's a 96, that car could be meant. If that thing is a 96, it's either from, uh, not from here or from the south or whatever. Or, oh God, I feel like giving my mouth a rest. Now I'm a little tired of talking. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Here we go. You see, this is the older area here. Look, 166 starts here. Man, you know, I feel like stopping here actually. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll press on. Show you a little bit more of these streets here. You know, look at the difference in the buildings here. You know, more average, average type homes, you know, average type of old Montreal houses basically, you know. And uh, although, by the way, just because they look average doesn't mean they're cheap. I should stress that. Oh, you know, he's been saying for fucking years, Montreal housing market is red hot. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of reasons for that, man. A lot of reasons for that. And I've said it before, I sometimes think even that my videos have something to do with that because they generally paint Montreal in a beautiful way, you know? Oh, I love stuff like that. Look at this. I love when I see the old original doors. Look at that. Look at that pattern, how cool that is. Oh, I love stuff like that. Funky, very 70s, you know? Or 60s, maybe. I think it was this driveway right here, or one of these houses nearby. I remember I took a picture, like, 20 years ago. 74 Cadillac, Sedan de Villa, or sorry, Fleetwood Park, right there. Big ass end sticking out. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yippers! Oh, glad I went out, man. Look at this. Actually, you know what? Now I think we're in the Snowden area because the signs are definitely City of Montreal signs. They're not Hampstead or... Uh... And look, you know what? I think that used to say Avenue before that. Underneath that, they put a sticker over it because it sounds too English. That's how fucking redu stupid this province is, you know? I know I'm going to get dislikes for that. I mean, I don't give a shit, man, all right? I, bad enough I get like other YouTubers speaking English and filming your Montreal Quebec. Like, ah, but what's pas le français? Why don't you speak in French? Uh, well, this is French here in Quebec. Fuck off because I can. And, and English is the international fucking language. That's why. Idiots. Come on, zoom. Hey, a lot of colorful cars. I like that. Let's see what's down here. Probably nothing. But I check. I check. You never know. There could be a tornado somewhere. Mm, it doesn't look too good. We're gonna check the other side. There's a budget truck with graffiti on it, sign of the times. Do, 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 do. Doesn't look interesting at all. Absolutely not. Well, not too interesting in the car department, that's for sure. Just zoomed in on them streets, so. Yeah, it's uh. This is what it is, eh? This is what it is. I think I'm almost at the carry though. That's my goal there, just to go to the carry. Don't think I'm gonna see any old cars today, but I was happy yesterday. I did see an old car, I did film an old car. It was a, you'll see that sometime in the near future. Oh, look, that's a rare Lexus, rare. And there's my uncle's truck right there, eh? 
Anyway, uh, what did I just say? I mean, okay, yeah, it's junk, but I don't give a shit. It's still a cool car. It's beautiful. 89 to like 92, 93 Cadillac Fleetwood, like in a lavender uh, metallic color. Just different, you know? Neat. And I have to take a whistle soon. What I'd like to do, actually, I wouldn't mind taking the 17 at the carry. I don't even care if it's fucking scrap, really, because I can get off anywhere and it's just... Because, you know, when you're in a metro, you don't see fuck all, and it gets dark at before 5. It's Anyway, i got to be back home. Uh... Hey, look at this. Look at this. I never even noticed this street before. McLinn. Fuck, I don't remember seeing that at all. I don't remember that at all, at all, at all. McLinn. McLinn. God, oh, that doesn't ring a bell at all. And it means something to me because it's Irish. Like me. Irish. Used to have another customer near here. And uh, I remember across the street, there was one time I took a picture. Oh, this mint condition, mint. This old man had this mint 70, uh, no, 79 Lincoln Continental Mark V. Mint, navy, like it was like a Royal Navy Blue. My Lord, what a machine, what a machine. And here comes the scrap. Yes, yes, good, good. Get quickly out of my sight. Yeah. I had the pleasure of seeing Ed, my friend Ed today, he filmed a quick ride on the highway in his 92 Taurus. It's only the second time I went on the highway with that car. Oh, no, third time, sorry. It's pretty neat. Look at that, that is not young. When you see a homes with awnings like that, at a balcony like that, that's not young. That's like probably 1920s, 30s. That's probably like the oldest, the, old, the oldest house on the street. You know? That's the spirit. Holy shit, I can't believe I walked all the fucking way here to to, to, to carry for crying out loud. That's a long walk. Luckily, I took my time. Because, uh, again, uh, I don't want to overdo it, you know. I just Because then, like, I'll just fucking really pay for the price for it and be a pain and feel tired as hell. And Ah, uh, the old cool brook. I think I filmed a walking, a walking video. Yeah, I think I did a walking video on this street uh, last winter or something. Spur the moment as usual. What do I see there? What is that? Is that an old car? Oh man, is that a Honda Del Sol? It's a Del Sol! Got a few ads for those. Look at that. Good shape. But you know, this was a gimmicky car though because it was really based on the Civic platform, I think. Yeah, it's actually funny because the uh, the hood and the roof are really badly faded. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's in yeah. It's not. It looks like it could be driven in the winter. It's not uh, great actually. Still not bad though. Oh. oh, before I wrap this up and I forget, I just want to uh, invite you if you want to send me a type of gratuity uh, and you love what I do and uh, want to show your love, as they say, well, you can do that uh, through my email, which is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. Eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. And it's of course much appreciated. And pour vous autres en français, je vais bien sûr faire une vidéo. Je sais pas là, bientôt là, quand ça me tente. Yeah, approaching uh, Van Horn and Decarry. And there used to be a big GM dealership here on the corner. I don't know. If, I think it might still be a Cadillac dealer. I don't know. Whatever. Je sais pas là. God, you know how many GM dealerships have closed in this city alone? It's mind-boggling. It's such a shame because they never could get their act together. They could never make cars of high quality like they used to, unfortunately. You know, they never they never got with it. They never adapted, you know? I mean, if they hadn't been so goddamn stubborn, they could have learned from the Japanese to improve things, you know? I mean, come on. Oh, man, it smells really good here. It smells like chalet barbecue, actually. It's weird because... Oh, still a Cadillac dealer. Strategically placed. Look at that. They're already building something here. Man, there used to be a police station here. No wonder it's not there anymore. Oh, well, that's it, guys. I want to thank you again for watching. Merci beaucoup. Take care. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Keep your distance. Blah, blah, blah. And look at this. Enter tech. I always appreciate your comments. And uh, take care. And I'm going to go uh, take a look at Fire Station uh, 4 over there.
And they're finishing at the carry. Take it easy, merci beaucoup, all the best, hasta luego. I'm thinking I'm forgetting something. I guess not. So that's it, coming to you not live from Montreal, Montreal, my city that's surprisingly, I didn't see any construction around here. That's very surprising. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.